So in the last video I, I gave you a bit of the theory behind factor of safety which gives you enough information to answer questions um, 1 and 2 okay but calculation wise I'm going to do question number 3 so let's let's read it first and let's look at the information we might need okay in an art gallery a sphere hanging sorry a sphere weighing 10 kilonewtons is suspended from the ceiling by a stainless steel bar, so kind of similar to what I sketched out. Uh, 20 millimeters in diameter, three meters long. Select a value for Young's for stainless steel, and hence calculate the extension uh, of the bar when it's loaded, and state any assumptions. Okay, um, so we'll do, do that one first of all. You'll notice that one's got nothing to do with factor of safety yet. Okay, uh, first job, selecting a value for Young's. So I've got my, my table here, got my table from the data book, which I said last time you should probably print off. Stainless steel, you notice that Young's has got a range between 190 and uh, 200 kilonewtons uh, per millimetre squared. I'll plonk right in the middle for 195. So that's where that value comes from when you see it in the calculation. Right, let's look and see what I've done. So... Uh, just like I always do, I, I start to write down either some of the numbers or some of the formulae that I'll be able to use, and some of them I use and some of them I don't use. Like this one up here, I've, I've said strain is equal to delta L divided by L. I don't need that yet. I definitely don't need it. Might need it later. Uh, Young's is equal to stress over strain. I haven't used that, but this is my first one that I'm able to use. Stress is force divided by area. So the force is uh, 10 kilonewtons. There we go, remember that th the thousand, okay, divided by uh, the area, okay, and it gives me that number there. Uh, so the stress in that bar is 31 newtons per millimetre square, okay. Let's look at uh, strain. So strain, because we're wanting to find a change in length of so strain, is equal to stress divided by Young's modulus, E, okay. So there's the stress. E, I've already told you where I got that from, straight from the table. Make sure your number's in the right order. There is a tiny number, usually three zeros, okay? Uh, if it's not a small number, you've done something wrong. And what they're looking for is how much that bar has been stretched. Uh, del 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 equals strain multiplied by the original length. And there we go. Job done. Now remember that a... That is, a range of answers that they're looking for so it doesn't matter if you've got something slightly different from uh, from someone else they remember Young's is 190 to 200 oh and remember the kilo remember put in the three the three zeros right let's look at the next stage so it says next uh, if a factor of five was applied to the design discuss the the effect uh, on the dimensions of the bar now, it's, on the face of it, you have to discuss something, but it's not. You, you've actually had to do a calculation and then say what you think. Okay, so uh, applying the factor of safety, so the ultimate load, in other words, that's how after that's going to break, is equal to five times the safe load, the safe load being what you're designing it for. Okay, so that makes 50 kilonewtons. Uh, I then went to the data book and got the oh I've written down the yield that should be the yield stress there sorry no not the yield stress that should be the ultimate tensile stress I've taken ultimate tensile stress uh, and I got it from here okay I got it from here and you can see again that's within a range okay so you could take anything within that range but if you want it to be as safe as possible take the smallest of the numbers okay so uh, and you could justify that you could say take the smallest number because that will ensure it's as safe as possible and um, but you're still correct to take anything within that range okay so there's my numbers ready to go I've already got young from last time I've written it down but I don't think I even use it okay stress equal to force divided by area we could work out the area is equal to a uh, force divided by stress so there we are so that is my 50 uh, thousand newtons divided by uh, the ultimate tensile stress giving me that as an answer area which is pi r squared you could find the radius by getting the square root of the area divided by pi here it is here 
and a that equals to 4.6 millimeters. We usually we do everything in diameter, okay? So that's say uh, 9.9.12 9 millimeters in diameter, and then you've got to discuss it. And you get a mark for the discussion part. For factor safety five, the bar must have that in diameter. So the original bar is 20 mil 20 mil in a uh, diameter so it's already got a large enough factor of safety but you could say the company might be spending too much money on materials okay so remember bar would come in a standard size uh, so you might have it in a, a 10 millimeters that would have done 15 millimeters that would have been done but it's getting more expensive each time but a uh, but just make sure that you give that give that explanation if you get a bit stuck with this Simply copy out what I've done, you could change the numbers a wee bit, that also helps you. Uh, and have a go at the other ones, I'll put onto video or do a video chat if you get stuck with anything else. Okay, I think that's it. Good luck with this.